cancer, a word that brings fear, uncertainty and grief to millions. Now for decades, global cancer research has progressed without true representation of the Indian genomic data. Our cancers are not the same as the West. Our genetics, our lifestyle, our risks are all different. Our environmental triggers all differ. Yet our treatment, our strategies have played often catch up, forced to fit into a mold that wasn't really meant for us. That changes today. IIT Madras in collaboration with leading hospitals and research institutes has launched Bharat Cancer Genome Atlas, India's first open access cancer genome database. With data from 480 breast cancer patients already sequenced, this initiative fills the gaping void in our understanding of how cancer behaves in Indian bodies. It will unlock early detection, enable personalized treatments and pave the way for therapies designed specifically for our population. Now, what does this mean for you? It means we stop treating cancer blindly and start targeting it with precision. But there's still a long way to go. The challenges are enormous lack of early diagnosis, biomarkers, no preclinical models really for drug testing, etc. and a healthcare system that still struggles with accessibility. All of these have to be looked at. So today, on World Cancer Day, we are not just talking about the disease. We are talking about a fight for better science, better treatments and better survival rates for Indian cancer patients. And to help us break it down, we have with us IIT Madras's uh, Professor S. Mahalingam, who leads the Bharat Cancer Genome Atlas project. He will take us through why genomic research is the missing puzzle piece in India's battle against cancer. Good morning, Professor. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Uh, firstly, you know, on Cancer Day, couldn't have thought of a better story from India to actually emerge. So very glad that we are having this chat. For people who are still to understand what exactly genome sequencing does to cancer treatment at various levels, at detection, early detection, at the level of uh, medicine, recovery, and at the level of cure, how do you think this will make a difference? Uh, it's a good that today we are going to talk about, and the World Cancer Day, we are going to talk about uh, how the genomic uh, information is going to change the treatment and detection in India. Uh, the right now, like, you know, whatever the treatment we are giving to the Indian patients is all the medicine or the drug is developed against or for the Western population, that drugs are developed against whatever the changes it happened to the particular that the Western population's genetic or the genomic changes. So it is a targeted development of the medicine. So now when you look at the survival, when you develop your medicine against a particular population hmm. based on genetic makeup hmm. and you are the same medicine to the different genetic background so you will have a difference in the survival rate that's what we are seeing it in india okay so that means we have to understand the genetic makeup or genomic landscape of indian cancer patients hmm. that is very very important without knowing what exactly the genomic change is happening hmm. and you and you are giving a different kind of medicine you'll have an off-target effect. Sometimes you will have a benefit, sometimes you may not see a benefit, sometimes you'll see an adverse effect. That's hmm. what we see here. Right. So, that, would, it be, would it be fair to say, Professor, then, that currently there is a treatment, a protocol treatment that cancer patients get, which is not designed for the Indian genome makeup, which is not designed for our bodies. What you are trying to do is understanding the various mysteries behind the genome sequencing so that there is a more targeted medicine that can be given which will have much higher survival rates. Yes, you are absolutely right. 
so <clears throat> now we are going like a one size fit all kind of hmm. method right that's why you see all all the difference in the treatment now to have a targeted therapy to improve the survival rate we have to have a targeted hmm. therapy targeted medicines that means we have to understand what is the genomic changes that are happening to our own population hmm. which is not available today So that is why IIT Madras took a step forward and established the National Cancer Tissue Biobank like 5 6 7 8 years back in collaboration with the different hospitals in and around Chennai hmm. and with the initial funding from the government of India so far we have collected almost more than 7000 samples of different cancer hmm. and we started sequencing of the cancer that are prevalent in India So when you look at the different prevalence so you see a breast cancer comes first then you have uh, head and neck cancer and colorectal cancer and so on and so forth hmm. So right now we have completed more than 950 whole exome sequences from hmm. 500 patients hmm. 500 breast cancer patients the people are diagnosed with the breast cancer hmm. So and when you look at the analysis of the data so we see some of the unique changes in indian population which you don't see it in the western population could you give us some examples of how uh how how because our genetic makeup is different mm. our genetic changes i mean so no i meant what exactly are the differences that you're seeing in the indian genome makeup versus the west see um there are three ways you can look at it one Uh, there are certain genes you see it commonly both western and indian but the frequency of the mutation is different for example like a uh, gene uh, called braca you see it 4.4% indian population of course it's only 500 sample 500 patients 4.4% mm-hmm. there you can see close to 6% some of the genes you see more frequency there we see it less frequency there mm-hmm. some of the we hear here in indian population we see more frequency there you have less frequency mm. some of the when i say unique some genes you do see a mutation here but you don't see it in western population mm. so there are a lot of reports available in chinese population but chinese mm. population also the frequency is very very less less than 1% but here we are seeing more than 2% mm. Mm. so mm. that can be one of the target we can go after that because we see uniquely to our population right so th- genes can be used for developing a marker hmm. right for diagnostics early diagnostics or can be used for like you know monitoring the disease progression can be used for uh, like a uh, see how the patient is responding to the treatment whether hmm. it's in is playing a role whether the responses hmm. are relapse we can use it right so this basically means there are patients who are given medicines which could have extreme reactions and a higher dose when they don't really need it and others getting a lower dose when they need much higher because we don't really know how the cancer is going to respond in their body which is yeah. how uh, this genome sequencing so fascinating is actually going to change the game which actually ties in beautifully with the theme of world cancer day uh, this year it says united by unique underscoring the significance of personalized patient centered care to battle cancer as well it also highlights the necessity of tailoring treatment to meet the unique needs of each individual but you are saying this cannot be met till the time we actually understand what's happening in the indian bodies right of course of course like you know so now we did with the i mean we completed 500 patients we are going to add up more patient that will help you to understand what is the population hmm. right hmm. so whether this gene is either the mutation whatever or the genetic changes whatever you see it in is across our population hmm. any specific ethnic group so we can able to see it suppose like you know this will help when you understand this is the pattern of gene changes will happen then when hmm. the patient we can next level you can go for a personalized medicine so okay. when the patient comes we can sequence it what kind of changes is happening in that particular individual hmm. accordingly we can make a tailored medicine treatment right so if you go to knowing this genetic blueprint it's very difficult to go for a personalized when you go like that the survival rate will be much higher